Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Let's take the phone call and then cap with the article because I want to bring her. All right, let's take the phone call. Hey, Shalom Caller, what's your name, question, or comment? Uh, shalom, Shalom, leadership. Uh, my name is Mike from South Carolina. I just want to make a comment about a new program. I just want to piggyback off what Captain Shemaya was saying about they're doing everything they can to preserve themselves. Uh, doing a piece of dedication, I was on YouTube and I was searching through videos and um, a commercial came up for um, Amalek, a new program that they're starting. And it's in New York and what they're doing, family, um, they are actually bringing them in and providing them everything they need for up to two years to raise their children. The program is called, I think it's called F-R-A-T, and then it has an acronym behind it called Cribs, but it's a little three-minute commercial that they were advertising on YouTube, and when I clicked on it to see what it was talking about, basically, it's encouraging women that thinking about having abortion to bring their husbands in, and they come into the program, not only do they give them the food needed to feed themselves, but the child for up to two years. They provide them with a crib, wow. a stroller, everything they need to support their family and take care of this child for up to two years. But it's a program that they've started in New York. And like I said, it's a short video. If you guys ever are on there later tonight or something, type in to be or not to be, and you'll see a video. It's like a little short three-minute video of two little women in the park talking, and she convinced her husband to come in. But then it goes into how the program how they send care packages. They don't even have to come in once they sign up. They send the care packages to the house um, on a monthly basis with everything they need in it for up to two years now. Damn. You get sent right to the house. Right to the house. It's, it's crazy. But like I, say, you, when, like I said, later tonight is, is to be or not to be. And I think the uh, name of the program is EFATFRAT, I think it's called. Um, but it's like I say, it's something that they're doing uh, in New York because it's somewhere in New York is where they're advertising for people to come in. But I'm pretty sure it's only for Amalek, Esau and Amalek. I mean, uh, I'm because I'm pretty sure if our people went in there for assistance, they'd probably look at us like you know we were crazy and laugh us out of there. Yes, sir. All right, thank you for your call, brother. All right, uh, Cap, read, read this. You know, you know, in this show, we try to talk about stuff that a lot of we don't talk about in the black community. We try to sweep it under the rugs. Uh, believe it or not, in Israel, we have the same thing going on where we don't talk about certain things. But we still, because you're in Israel, that doesn't mean there's no issue going on in the Israel community. We still got issue going on. And I want to I talk about this. 
That's why we're in the system. I'm going to talk about this. Because this affected our people back then. It still affected our people today. Wow. You know this. He sort of even talk about this no more. You guys know this? No. Mm -hmm. What well, we're about to talk about, he sort of even don't talk about this no more. It's like, all of a sudden, this is go away. But this is still exists. Just, yeah. This is still exists. Remember back then, he saw was talk, this, this thing was in the news every single day. Only when that little white boy, Ryan White, got sick. Remember the little, yeah. the little, what's the little, I think that was his name, Ryan White. It was like, oh. AIDS and HIV is horrible. The little mm -hmm. white boy got sick and was in his house dying. I don't Go ahead, Cap. <laughs> Georgia ranks fifth highest in the nation for new HIV diagnosis. Georgia's Department of Public Health says one in six people living in Georgia don't know they have the virus. That's 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 a crazy statement right there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a one scary statement. Yep, that's scary. One in six. That's that's, that's scary. A lot. That's a lot. Mm. That make your loins tingle like you see somebody hit their head. Georgia ranks fifth in the nation for new HIV diagnosis, according to the Census for Disease Control and Prevention. In honor of World's World AIDS Day, Georgia's Department of Public Health is encouraging people to get tested for HIV. There's still more critical work that we need to be doing throughout Georgia, but particularly in Atlanta, Fulton, DeKalb areas, mm. which ranks top, rich ranks topping the charts throughout the state of Georgia. That's it, where the black people live, by the way. Yes. Yep. Yes. Hey, hey, we did it again, but, um, but particularly, particularly in the Atlanta, black people, Fulton, black people, DeKalb areas, black people, which ranks topping the charts throughout the state of Georgia. Imara Kennedy, with AIDS Healthcare Foundation told 11 Alive. Georgia's Department of Public Health said one in six people living with HIV in Georgia don't know they have the virus, increasing the risk that they could infect someone else. AIDS View said the South accounts for over hey, If you married, you got a wife, you should say, thank you, yeah, yeah. Jesus. It's scary out there, man. man. Thank you, you Jesus. That's hey, right. You, you and a sister want to say something. No, and I was saying, um, working in the, the healthcare field, it's a lot of um, sodomites hmm. of our people. They come in there and they are positive for HIV. And then you have the ones that do, they, they have sex with men and women. Hmm. And then you have sisters coming in there because they slept with a man that they think is straight and they have children and then they test positive. Mm. What, the children? No, the, oh, the woman. The woman, okay. A woman, she already have kids from right. previous and I've seen that happen. I, when I, one of my homeboys, before I came to the truth, his mama worked at the, uh, it's kind of, I guess, like the crisis center down by Grady where, uh, it's, it's the eight, pretty much the AIDS clinic. Mm -hmm. And she would always tell us, y'all better be careful because the women who have AIDS don't look like they have AIDS. Yeah. Yeah. And she would tell us yeah. that all the time. She said, if you come in there, you would think that it was a club or a party. Mm -hmm. She said, because the people that have AIDS that she noticed are, once they find out, they don't like go into like, Depression. Oh, I'm depressed. They go get the best healthy. clothes. Yeah, get they go get the nice jewelry, the hit nice the shoes. They hit the gym. Well, and be together. They, and they, yeah. and she said, when well, you will not know that these people have AIDS. She that's, said, they, it looks crazy. like a club or a party in the AIDS center because they come in there and they, like, hey, said, and correct me if I'm hey, wrong. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Sis, last time you was on the show, you you showed us there's drugs that they can use that when you even take the, the test. It is undetectable. Yep. It's um, the antiviral. So if you're taking that medicine regularly um, and you go do blood tests, it will make it come back um, negative because the antivirals, it will see these blood tests when they do them. Um, it goes off of the titers that your, the, the titers that your body release. And so if you're, t if this medicine is in your system, your titers are going to come back negative because it's detecting the medicine is covering up the disease. Damn, damn. Hey, all you single folks out there, there, hey, there may the go. Lord be with you. That is why. <laughs> may the force be with you. They damn. do they do have um they do have like test this what they call aerobic and anaerobic now where if you go like say for instance someone is a positive for 
herpes, like I said last time, you can't tell. You have, mm. you can tell from, it's a visual thing. Mm. Um, and if you go get the blood test now, you get um, IgG and IgM, which is past and present exposure. So it will let you know if that person, if you came in contact with that in the past. Mm. Just, got I got it. a question so, about that. I got a question about, uh, so when you go, and, I, and this is also conspiracy theory thought. <laughs> When you go and get your drug test, it, they don't, t I mean drug test, uh, AIDS test, it's not negative or positive. Like when I went, it was reactive or non-reactive. Mm -hmm. And and that's the doctor was like, oh, you're good. You're non-reactive. I'm like, so there's something that can be active. Like what, what do that mean? So there's a, so when you, like when people would come, patients would come in and get a HIV test, the book, the lab book to look up the test code, because we have to know exactly what test that they're testing for when we send off to the lab. That is yet for me to determine because the doctor couldn't even give me a straight. It's this thick. When you say HIV and you look in the lab book, the test codes is this thick for HIV. You flip it and you're like, so which one do I choose? There's like hundreds of them. Like strains? Str strands or testing that you oh, can wow. do for certain test and I'm like so which one did just tell you you have HIV and they have a standardized test that they use a test code that shows like I had um it was a northern kingdom young boy he was 17 he came in and he had to do all this testing for I think he was going to the military or something mm -hmm. like this and his HIV came back reactive I mean he went crazy his mom went crazy he came out and told us you know, I don't even have sex, there's no way. And I asked the doctor, I said, so why would it, what, did he get exposed another way? So they, we brought him back and tested him like a month later and it came back negative. And I said, so what, he said, these tests are sensitive. So that's why, you know, even when they come up with their numbers, especially with our people, I mean, these tests are so sensitive, it could be anything that triggered that blood test that says you're positive or you're really? not. Yes. Oh, I so, wow. so, 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 you're, oh, so you're saying man. you can get false positives. So yes. you're saying if you get a HIV, you should get multiple, multiple, multiple tests. And that's why they tell wow. you come every six months. Oh, wow. Understood. So okay, okay. I remember something Laba said. Remember, we always told blood and sister that start proving each other. We say, go get tested. And Laba was like, don't get tested one time. Get tested multiple, multiple times time because times. you never know. Wow. wow. Man. Some scary stuff. That's some scary wow. stuff, man. Oh. Crazy so, marriage. Bitch, you yes. was going to say something, right? Yeah, when we uh, tell the people uh, to get a blood test, it's not for uh, us to know. No, no. It's for you people getting married. Y'all should know each other. Exactly. What's going on with physically uh, with your bodies? Who got what or what? Hey, hey, hey. I'm glad Bishop said that because I mentioned that at class one time uh, last week. Uh, there is something called confid confidential. confidentiality. 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 Mm -hmm. If a brother or a sister come to us, they confide in us, they tell us they have something. Our job is not to tell you. We're not supposed to tell you nothing. That's why we tell you to get tested. We're not supposed to tell you, hey, you see that sister right there? No, do not talk to her because she got this. No, 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 no. She confided in me and tell me. A brother might have, my, my was, he might, he, he might be, he used to be a homosexuality. She might used to be a lesbian. But if they confine us, they come and tell us, no, 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 no. When you talk to the person, that's why we said, go get tested mm -hmm. our job is not to tell you nothing we're not uh, that's not our job that's your job to find out and and that's that's and guess what that's part of the proving process mm -hmm. all right some of you you jump right in head first mm -hmm. literally some of yeah some of yeah, you jump right yeah. in head first yeah. you come out with your head full of doo-doo <laughs> and then you blame us Damn. <laughs> <laughs> we told you brother Sister, go get tested. And we said to you, not one time, because the sister just told you. I'm glad you said that. She just told you, listen, you can go one time and it's go, it, come, it come negative. And the right. next time you go, the next time you go, it's come positive. She just told you. Yeah. Mm. Hey, somebody, matter of fact, somebody just told us, um, we, we remember at the table, he said, uh, hey, did you uh, did y'all get a blood test? Oh, he told me he's good. Yeah. Said, what the hell? Yeah. 
Yeah. Hey, that happened. Remember in New York? Yep. The uh, one I ain't gonna mention a name, but uh, the brother went and got tested and came back negative. And I said, I said, what did she get tested? And she says, no. He says about her, she's she said she's good. I said, is, I said, do you think that's good enough? He goes, yeah. She know the scriptures. We left her alone. <laughs> Mom, you was there at ten eighty eight. Then he came in upset and said that uh, she woke up crying in the middle of the night. Yep. And he said, baby, what's wrong? Said, uh, uh, baby, what's wrong? Uh, uh, you can tell me what's going on. She said, I, I got herpes. And he was like, you got herpes? And he wow. said that's why his kids from another yeah. woman got them. Remember, they had all those sores around their mouth. Cause of her. She, he never had her. She never got tested. He took her at her word. Yep. Dang. And, and she said, she said, God wants you oh, yeah. to have it too. She said, God wanted you to have the disease. <laughs> the minute she said, God wants you to have it. <laughs> she caught it with a right. <laughs> and, I just um, want to say she got a bubble somewhere. And you'll be amazed, like when sisters, because I worked in gynecology, they don't tell the truth when they're dealing with a man. They'll say, "Oh, I only had three sexual partners in my life," but for some reason, when they come in the doctor office, they spill it out. She forgot about little way with little it's Johnny. Unbelievable. Or the girls' she trip. She the only girls went trip. with three of them. The other ones was just unbelievable. The numbers, like we asked them, how many sexual partners you had in the past year? Some up ten. Damn. Nine, seven, and it's like, oh wow. I wonder. <sighs> if you told the guy you're with that, so yeah. mm-hmm. hey, they 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 be screaming, they be screaming in there when you you're listening. What is that voice? I heard about sixty people screaming in there. Want to come out? Hello, hello, <laughs> hello, they, hello, they, hello, hello, hello. She hello, got that Asteroid. She got that Asteroid hey, 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 American hey. gun. These officers say you want to say something, but I hope you say something that's related to what we're talking about. Are we gonna blast you? Just last week, um, I did an interview. And they, and they tested me, and I got tested positive for the CHC, which is marijuana. And what I did was, I'm like, I got a smoke. Oh, weed head. Poppy seeds. They said, I'm real low. That same day, they gave me an address to the clinic. I went to the clinic and tested again. I got tested negative. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. Esau test fate? And all I had was open at that point. Your oatmeal, wow. was, your, oatmeal kind of had, your oatmeal had weed in it. Poppy yeah, seeds. he had weed, but in his oatmeal. Hey, speaking of that, hey. <laughs> Uh, you know that uh, that thing they got in Bago, the poppy seed. Yeah, yes. poppy seed. Mm-hmm. You know that, hey, you guys, I forgot to tell you. You know that if you eat that, yeah, you go take a positive, test. Yeah. It's gonna come out as opioid. You taking opioid. You know that, right? Right. Yeah. So be very careful. So those of you got those government jobs, yeah, be guys. very careful with that poppy seed and you seeing those bagels. Yeah. Because I'm, they, you know that happened to me one time. Yeah. That's why I know. I eat one. And I take, take the test, that thing come out as small as uh, opium. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? Then the lady said, did you eat uh, uh, these puppies? I said, yeah. She said, that's why. I, didn't, I, I never know that. Mm. It mm. come actually positive like you taking op- you, you actually hooked up on opioid. Those get, little we puppies. We some help, D. Yeah. I used hey. to eat so, them yeah, yeah, about But you, hey, man. those of you who got those government jobs, be very careful with that. We, we got a phone. Because those government jobs, they tested you like, you don't even. You might come this morning and say, "Oh, by the way, random, you're gonna random. get tested." That's why when they uh, legalize marijuana, all that's a trap for Jake. Yes, yes. it is. Yes, sir. To get us all sorts of jobs. Right. We we got a phone call. Hey, Sh- Shalom, caller. What's your name, question, or comment? Shalom, ladies. Shalom, Shalom, Shalom sister. Um, I was going to chime in on um, the HIV epidemic in Atlanta. Um, I worked in Atlanta as a nurse um, for over 10 years, and I worked um, as a hematology oncology nurse. And um, I want to say, I think people are misinformed. They think that if, okay, somebody's in the hospital, that you're going to be made aware that they are HIV positive, when, in essence, we cannot tell you as healthcare providers, mm-hmm. we are violating the HIPAA law. Mm-hmm. Um, so basically, it's up Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, sis, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, you too fast. Are you saying I'm, that... Hold on, hold on, sis. Because uh-huh. I want to make, make sure that the people understand what you're saying. Are you saying yeah. if you go, you test positive for HIV that the hospital cannot tell you insurance provided? That's what you're saying? No, we, can, they, we cannot tell your, your partner. That, oh, your partner. partner. If that patient, if my patient is HIV positive, 
and their wife or their significant other is at the bedside, <clears throat> we cannot tell you. Wow. It is up to that patient wow. to tell you. Hmm. And so I did, I've been a nurse since 2008, and I have seen people die um, because of this. And we had one patient, um, he worked as a um, prison guard in Tallahassee, Florida. And he came in and found out he had HIV-induced lymphoma. And that's another thing. People will say, oh, they died from cancer. Yes, but it was caused from the HIV virus if mm. it's left untreated. Oh. So typically his wife didn't really find out he was HIV. That's what happened with uh, that dude, Eddie, that pastor. He died. Eddie, what is his name? Eddie, Eddie Long. Eddie Long. That's what happened with him. Yes. So, so claim so, he died from yeah. cancer, but so, actually he died from HIV. So yes. So hold on. Because, you know, I, I failed science class. Yes, so you're saying there's a there's a type or a strand of HIV that can actually bring forth cancer. I'm sorry, sorry, I didn't hear you. What you repeat? You, that, are you saying there's like a type or a strand of HIV that can bring forth cancer? Well, basically, HIV is called HIV-induced lymphoma. It's a type of cancer that develops from having the HIV virus mm. oh, wow. if it's left untreated. Mm -hmm. Dang. So there's a now, I've never heard that before. I never heard that you before. You got cancer yes. AIDS. You just want to give yes. it. Take me, Lord. Yes. Hey. Let's pass. I'm getting the answer out of leadership. I can't. Hey. Yes. Damn. Mosai's not playing with us. Nah, he's not. Mosai's not playing with us. We got we to gotta, we gotta redo to Army 20 years for 60 yeah, years. 66. Yeah. 66. Yeah. 66. Yeah. We got to read this. Oh, 60, 61. 61. Boom, 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 boom. 61. Was, was that it, sis? Yes. Can yes. you hear me? I'm, I'm like no, the no, other no. After the sister, we get them. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, sister. Yes, go ahead, go ahead. I want our people to know because they don't care because it's killing the blacks and Latinos. Right. They don't care. So, I mean, you're telling us you want to prevent this disease from being spread, but yet you know that this person in this room is HIV positive. And you don't want us to tell the person in the next right. in the room with them that's gonna go home and sleep with them, right? And probably right, has right. another girlfriend or boyfriend on the side, and they got another person on the side, and that's why we are here. And then you got the men on the down low. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Mm. So, damn. Hey, hey, this this is really so. You know, so the the, per, the so the prevention for the spread of the disease among our people could stop if they're able to tell the part the husband or the wife or the significant you know. That Correct. that person Correct. is positive, then treatments could be done and fixed right there in that room. Instead of they break up, they're not boyfriend and girlfriend anymore. They move on to other partners and so on. And so, in other words, the law of marriage could fix this. Yes, it's honorable. Yes. So, sis, let me e ask you a even question. Even then, they're not honoring the marriages. If I've had patients, this guy's wife, he had a wife. We asked him. We go in when we find out the patient is positive. Okay, your test came back positive, and it's usually the nurse and the physician we go in. And, okay, how do you want to go about this? Do you want treatment? Okay. And we, we will ask, who have you slept with? Because we leave it up to that patient to tell those people. Right. It's not like people think, oh, the health department knows. They notify people. They don't do that. Sis, before it's you go. It's up to that person to tell it. Sis, I got, a, I got a really good question for you before you go. Yes. Really good question. Now, uh, the scripture said, when you repent, you become a new creature. We all know that, right? Mm -hmm. Now, we, we, we're going to have brothers. The reality is we're going to have brothers and sisters who come in the truth. I really have it. Mm -hmm. My question to you is that, I know everybody want to ask you that question, this question. Can two people, one person have it, one person don't have it, can they be married and, and the other partner then don't? Is there a way, in other words, can one person who have it and a person who don't have it marry it, but there is a way to prevent it from Trans transmitting? Transmitted. Well, and if there yeah, is, but, and hold on, hold on, sis. If there is, tell the people that's listening to you right now how. Mm -hmm. So um, basically, even so, when I say, say that I'm in and I have HIV and my husband's there. I've had a patient to where she came in, she had HIV-induced lymphoma. She's thinking she had cancer, kind of find out with HIV. Well, her husband, um, they had just married. She told him. He tested. Um, for, they were testing for every three to six months, depending. He was negative. He stayed with her. So, you know, just say that we have someone coming to truth and they, you know, they disclose that they are HIV positive. If they are receiving treatment, Typically, those drugs, what they do is they keep down your viral load. The higher the viral load, the more you are, 
you are you increase the risk of transmitting it. So if you have a high viral load, you're going to transmit it. So you can sleep with someone that is HIV positive and may not get it if they're not sickly. So yes, stop, if we have stop, hold on. that come in. Wow. Hold on, sis. I never knew that before. Wow. Wow. Yes. So yes. Hmm. If they because, take the medicine. sis, I still got that old mindset when this thing, <laughs> remember when this thing first come out? Yeah. The yeah. old mindset that, yeah. Touch it, you got it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you touch it, you got it. Can't I, I still got that same mindset. Can't breathe the same air. Yes. Hey. I thought, I, oh. that's the first time I never heard anybody say that. I didn't know that what you just seat. said. Yes, you can. You can use the same toilet seat. It's usually blood and body fluid. It's usually blood, um, seminal fluid, and um, so, the woman. So, but, sis. Yeah, so, that's what, usually how it's transmitted. So, sis, I'm sorry to cut you off. You know, we got, we got okay. short time. <laughs> uh, so, sis, what you're saying is it can... It's possible. That's what you're saying. It's possible yes. for a yes. brother who have it and a sister who don't have it got married and stay together and without it being transferred. They, without transfer. That's what you're saying. Yes, and that means. And then some may just choose to use the um, condoms, and I think that's where that prep pill that they have now they're advertising. I think that's where it comes in. Um, if you are HIV negative, it lowers your your risk of transmitting it if you do come in contact with it. But I would say. Even if you are on that pill, still use protection. But yes, those two can still be together. You're not going to kiss them to catch HIV. So, You're so, not going to catch it from sitting on the same toilet. So, sis, basically, yeah. by medication, you keep the virals low so it doesn't mm-hmm. get transferred. So it's like but, that, but that person has to be on the medication, correct? Correct, yes. Okay. And e- yeah. And even like I said, they, but they, a lot of people, they know. We have a lot of those patients that knew. And they just choose to ignore it. And we also, I used to work in DeKalb County um, at Hillendale campus. And it, it became so bad that we had kids from the age of 19 to 30 that were coming in testing positive for HIV. They were coming in for um, a cold that wouldn't go away. And it became so bad mm. that we had to check for HIV every time somebody came into that emergency room. And I would say every one out of six patients were HIV positive. And they were between the ages of 19 and 30. I had wow. a guy that was 19 dying from AIDS, and I had to ask, what age was he when he contracted this? Okay. I got another Can I ask sorry. a question? I question too. Uh, I got another question. <laughs> and I'm sorry, yeah, I'm so sorry, but I just think we need, to, our people need to know this. Yeah, because no. we have this misconception that Can I ask it is just because they don't look like it, they don't have it. These people look perfectly fine. You go fine. ahead, ask a question, but my question is going to be for this sister right here. But go ahead. Yes, sir. Sis, um, uh, what, what's what's kind of like the going rate for like that kind of medication, like the affordability for somebody that have it to like get on some medication like that and maintain it? Well, in, in Atlanta, especially at Grady, they have it. They have programs where you just go to like a clinic, a treatment clinic, and it's um, totally anonymous. Um, and typically, if you can't afford it, it's given to you. Oh, so oh, they'll wow. give it to you. Okay, so they will. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, they no. have programs that you can fill out forms if you need this medicine, and is by, they will pay for it. Oh, if you just like you filling out, I for can't any, hear this, Just like you. you're filling out for any assistance, these forms they give you, and they will pay for the medicine for okay. you. Oh. So now, Sister Shoshana, I got a question. All right, all right. Thank you for Oshana, Oshana, your call, Oshana, 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 Sister Oshana, I got Thank a you, thank you. Thank you, Sis. Okay. I got a question. You're welcome. No. Since you work in the clinic. I want you to tell us, because we know that, okay, they got, they got the, the AIDS virus. But my question, remember, remember when the first, the first show we was talking mm-hmm. about the herpes, herpes, herpes. you were saying there is three types of herpes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, now, my question to you is, is there different type of AIDS? Yeah, that's what I was telling you with the, the book that I was saying when we run the test. There are so many different test codes for different strands. And when I was telling you, like the sister said, the medicine that you take, the antivirals, it can sh- make your titers come back negative because it's prominent in your system. How many types they got? Uh, I can't even tell you. It's a lot. So there is more. I never counted. It's the book is thick. Dang. That's some scary stuff. Man. Hey, can we click this card? Can we see what this article yeah, is? Hold on. First new HIV strain in 19 years. Remember, you want the script though. What script? Deuteronomy 28. 28. Yeah, read that. I'm sorry. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 61. Read it out. Also, every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law 
then will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. So we know AIDS is not in there, in that in the Bible. Uh, cancer is not in there. But those stuff, most I got bring them against our people because of the way we live. They will a lot style. Uh, Promis promiscuity. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Pr promiscuity and that, the foods we eat. Yep. Mm. Boyfriend and girlfriend crap. That's mm. why I said, yes, it's gonna be it's gonna be a situation where you're gonna have brothers and sisters who come in the truth. Who, who we have it. it. We have it already. Yeah. We, they, we have a few, two that I know of that yeah. will have a successful marriage. Yes, the key is three yeah. major things that affects them is uh, law, marriage, and medication. You need those three things. God's law, if, we, if they follow it, they'll lead a monogamous life. Mm -hmm. And they def, 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 desperately lead, need medication, like it says in the, uh, Sirach 38 mm -hmm. and 4, where it says, The Lord hath created yeah. medicines out of the earth, and he that is wise will not abhor it. Right. Right. So they, need, they have to stick to those three things to keep right. that, that household or that marriage. Give us the three things again, Bishop. Law, marriage, and medication. Law, marriage, your, your brother, see that? Law, marriage, and medication. It's very important oh, you remember. Also, um, I just happened to look that up. Oh, you in the show? I'm waking up. <laughs> this have been sleeping for like an hour and a half. Okay, so this says that there are over sixty different epidemic strains of HIV one in the world, but usually Dang. different regions are dominated by only one or two. However, if two strains infect the same person, they can combine to form a crossbreed. Holy Damn. crap! Man, they got transformers. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Say that so again. It's a hybrid. It's like a Single hybrid folks, strain. A hybrid That's why strain. that book is so thick. You know, it's different you, variations. And you the sister was telling the truth about like your part. Like I was going to make that point earlier mm -hmm. is that when 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 people are proven, they need to go in together and talk to the doctor mm -hmm. because they do. We the doctors will protect your even if you're positive and you have a partner, they'll tell them to leave out the room. Mm -hmm. And I've seen it where women, because that's what I was mainly dealing with, was women. They would come in and let's just say they would have like um, STDs, chlamydia. They have the whole shebang down the line infected. Damn. We would treat them, give them shots, give them medicine. They would leave, come back in three weeks, and they'll be reinfected. Damn. And that just lets you know that their partner wasn't treated, hence maybe mm. because they hadn't told their partner. Mm. Wow. See, wow. Damn. Hey, you so when you, when folks, you invite the people in, the one person is allowed to say, can you uh, counsel us with me and my spouse yes. or my significant or whatever the words they yes, use? Yes, but yes, sir. But they, the women, women, the women are wicked. They'll be like, I don't want you in here. I need him to get out. Mm, mm, they mm, want to mm, be mm, private. To keep know, it secret. To keep it secret. But like I said, when they're in the room with the doctor, they let all everything out. Mm, mm, mm. So they didn't so keep their privates private. And now they want right. to keep their results. Right? So you try to keep so, me out of the room. I don't trust you no more. Hey, but I like that because Bishop, you know, we've spoken about that with Ti. How they try to oh yeah, they demonize, demonize, demonize the yeah. hell out of him for wanting to check on his his daughter. Mm -hmm. Now, being that she's considered a minor, if she were to go in the room herself, unbeknownst to Ti, is the doctor Tell under that parental. same HIPAA? Yes, so they oh, really? yes. yes. Even okay. though even though she's on the age. Minor, yes, HIPAA covers that. My, when a minor came in with oh, STDs and they didn't want their mom in, my doctor would tell the mother, "I need you to sit out." Yes. What the? Okay, that's crazy. So your own child that's this? in your house, you yep. can't know. This is what they if the do. child don't want you to know. Don't you to know? And, and wow. You know, we would have mothers come in all the time to do just what Ti did, and and they want to get their younger daughters checked to see if the, the skin was broken, that, that you can't tell <clears throat> if Behind they're, it. yeah, you can't tell. Because you gotta think when they come in there and we're doing an exam, we're pushing a speculum Poking. up yeah. there. Um, you can't tell that skin can be broken from riding on a bike, from doing the splits, doing oh. gymnastics, mm. but they're just using your visual examination as a, a doctor, you can tell if that's is some activity He's going so on but you can't really say if, if, if a child had sex one time and so, they come in there to get checked, we can't tell you yes or no. We just go off of what they say. You, you know what's so heavy about that. Could you imagine the <sighs> mass oh, amount of brothers that have been convicted for rape? And you said that the hymen could have been broken from the splits, gymnastics, easy, riding a bike. Easy, yep. 
Damn. Hey, I that's like some that's scary stuff so right there. Don't, so don't dead. don't go in there with your box looking like a punching bag. <laughs> hey, so that's somebody the, been in here. That's the moral <laughs> of the story. <laughs> the blue waffle. The blue waffle. Yeah. Hey, yeah. let me tell you something. Remember the scripture most I say the father lose sleep over the yes. 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 You know, I'm the, I'm just as uh, she's talking, I'm just thinking about something. You know, your sisters and brothers that's listening to this show right now, listen. At least every every three months, you should go in in your kids' room and Check, and bro. over over flip everything over. That's bro. You, yep. deep, you should flip the bed. Kick, you know, in kick, jail. Kick you know when you're in jail, in. right? They come and say, "Hey, come out of the room. Step, step, yeah, step yeah, down. I gotta check your step cell. Door. Toss this cell. They come and they toss the whole cell yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. Every month, you should tell your daughter, "Hey, come here. Come out of the room. Stand yeah. right there. Yeah. Uh, and step. Out of, can you give me a favor? Step out of the room for a minute." She'd be like, what you doing? Step out of the damn womb. I pay for this womb. Step out of the womb. <laughs> and flip everything yeah, over. Yeah. Open drawers. her bags. Flip everything over. Hey, and then and, and then walk out of the room and say, go in there and fix everything. Yeah. And not only Give that. Mommy, what you was looking for? Don't worry about it. Yep. You get cases with men, women too, but you also have men who get uh, g- genital warts, where yep. they get these big, giant yeah. warts yeah. on their penis. Broccoli. HPV. What is it called? HPV. It's HPV. the human papilloma mm. virus. And the genital warts is that's the skin, the skin. Is that's the skin, the skin. If you come in contact with those warts, they're very highly contagious. Mm, mm, mm. So yeah, Gosh, that's that's, damn. Damn. that's why it's very important when men and women are proving you have to take your time. Yep. That six yes, month sir. rule. People think we're just trying to we want to rule somebody's life. That's not the issue. No. We're trying to save save you. You trying know, Bishop, correct me if I'm wrong. For what flower? You said you should get one. Do you say cauliflower? <laughs> Bumpy Johnson. <laughs> Bumpy Johnson down low. You should get a People test. Them on their hands too. Dang. You should get you, 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 you. Hey, run that back, sis. Hold on. Time out. There's people who get it on their hands. And there was like an old tale where if you had a wart on your hand, it means a frog a pissed frog? on you. Yes, I remember that. That's HPV. Damn. They even oh, came in God. contact with it. <sighs> Country gang. Country guy, you heard that? That's a cauliflower finger too. Cali- yeah, <laughs> and you brothers that take women to the movie theaters and are sitting in the back I'm row, just touching oh. with your cauliflower hand. Talking about with your cauliflower hand. Yeah, your cauliflower hand. <laughs> let, let me get some extra butter on that. But like I was saying, Bishop, you um, correct me if I'm wrong. You should get a test before if you're courting right. before like six months in or something like that, or nine months in. If yes. I remember. And then once again, before, after the betrothal, before the marriage, right, before yes. the marriage, another one. Yes. Now, it may be, that's why you got to get to know the person. Because like you were saying, you may really love that person right. and want to endure. Right. But you got a lot of people who are afraid to reveal it. Because like you were saying, they say, I don't, don't right. come in the room. No, right. I want to go in the room. I want to know if you got something, if yeah. we can deal with yeah, this, yeah. if right. we can live with it. That's right. what I'm like. If you tell me so, to come out the room, I'm shaky now. I'm like, yeah. Shaky? Drop her like a bad habit. Steve Drop her like a bad <laughs> Hey. Message and hey, we so throw it on the women, folks. but it's not just the women because no, some not. of you men is nasty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they got yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. got stuff. Right. Yeah. 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 I'm reading some of this comment. Muddy balls. I'm with. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Got a nasty crunch on your balls. Damn. I'm reading some of this comment. Pine cone. The sister said. Oh, go ahead. Sis. No, I was just saying like the situation where we was talking where the women don't tell. The doctor that I work for, she was um, she was a Jake. She would have them young girls tell, she would talk to them and tell them, bring the man in here and I give him the medicine. Mm. Cause she just was tired oh, of wow. retreating these right. women over and over. Damn. And you never these women was the same women. There was same uh, women. Uh, there were a uh, uh, weapon of mass destruction. Yep. Walking in the middle of Atlanta. But they get it. She's saying that these women are getting it from their nasty cauliflower men. The women's getting tested, but the man's not. He's sitting yeah. at home chilling. And she yeah. goes back to the nasty dude Damn. then comes back to her to get oh, treated. She, she Weapon of happen. mass destruction. Hey, this is why, Bishop, listen, oh. this is why, this is why they hate the Israelite. Mm-hmm. Because those are the stuff we try to stop. Right. Yeah. Those are the stuff. Listen, we gonna stop it with you or without you. Right. We're gonna stop this. Because this thing been plaguing us for centuries. Mm. Now that we wake up, I'm sorry. Hey. <laughs> I, I already know what you're gonna say. Hey, we every we, show, every show. Because I gotta keep time of the time because of you guys always go over the time. <laughs> but we we that's why we try to we try to stop we try to stop these things from happening. Uh, uh, I was reading the the comments. One brother said, 
the daughter's talking about, that's my womb. Uh, what you doing in my womb, mommy? What you Shoot. listen, listen, that's not your womb. Right. I let you sleep in that womb. You just inhabit this room. You, yes, that's actually no. Every single one in that house is my womb. Yeah, that's why I don't have no man cave. Deep. Yeah, Hold that's my womb. Mind. That's not your womb. Right. Let, you, let your kids know that's not your womb. Since I paid the mortgage, I paid everything here. That's my womb. Right. Mm -mm. <laughs> until you can afford, until you can pay rent, that's not your womb. And you get your own room. I can go in that womb, rent, sack it, do what I want. Uh, uh, throw you stuff out of the window if I want to. That's my womb. <laughs> I just let you borrow it. Just keep that in mind. Don't get it twisted. You know, there's a scripture <laughs> where it talks about, the. it's talking about Israel. It's a metaphor, but God brings it. Get Ezekiel 16, 26. It's a metaphor for the whole nation, but he directs it towards women and their promiscuity. Watch what it says. You say 36? 30, uh, 16, verse 26. 16, 26. I'm sorry. I got Ezekiel it. chapter 16 and verse 26. Bring it out. Thou hast also committed fornication with the Egyptians, thy neighbors, greater flesh, and has increased thy whoredoms to provoke me to anger. And now that part that says greater flesh, it translates big penises. Oh, dang. Donkey. Yeah, yeah, donkey, flesh. donkey Kong. Walk, Jump, like Egypt, <laughs> walk like an Egyptian. <laughs> Jump down to verse 28. Verse 28. Damn. Thou hast played, excuse me, thou hast played the whore also with the Assyrians, because thou was unsatiable. Yea, thou hast played the harlot with them, and yet couldest not be satisfied. So all these, these scriptures, although it deals with us as a nation dealing with mm -hmm. the other nation, deals with the women of the nation of Israel having that insatiable appetite mm -hmm. and sexuality. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Everybody quiet now. Damn. Bring it up. We write, we write and this is why her sister said, she says to my wife, this is uh, Titus true. She says, she said, I want to get married, but I want a brother who's packing. He got to be at least 13. I said, she a hoe. She said, I need that great This flesh. is her right here in the scripture here. Bishop. It's supposed to be flesh. a surprise. She, she like See, women flesh. don't want to, some women don't want a surprise. They want to know what they go, what you, what you got, what you're working with. Hey, hey, hey. I don't want to get there and he's uh, hey, a yeah, like a short. Yeah. That sound like shorty a shorty guy. Bishop, that sound like the type of sister who's not going to ask him to get it tested. Right. Get it tested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Hey, oh, like, he's packing? No, you don't have to get tested. She right. said, remember that hoe? Flesh. Remember that hoe that stick out the tip measure? Yes. Yep. That sounds like she that hoe right York. there. Yep. That hoe right there. Who walks around with a tape measure? Same. Walk a tape measure. Let me see how she she goes like this. measuring she rods. Goes, no, this is not. No. <laughs> <laughs> because that hoe right there that stick out the tape measure, she didn't bother to tell the brother, go get tested. Right. Nothing. She's like, uh, hold on a minute before you put it in. Hold Let on. Let me get my measuring tape. Oh, Let me you get know my what? measuring tape. They got divorced. Yeah, I heard. Yeah, they divorced. I heard. He, because she, he, uh, he took all the marriage pictures off his Facebook. Yep. We yeah. told, hey, that's not for you. <laughs> that's, hey. Dang. Hey, a hoe is a deep ditch. Hey, yes, yeah, sir. Hey, yeah, yeah. yeah. She, she said, I'm on somebody. You try, you try to turn a hoe into a housewife. Yeah, yeah that's what happened. So deep. You fell Unrepented. In no, go ahead, go ahead. Unrepented <laughs> coochie. <laughs> Unrepented coochie. Bring, bring it back. Bring it again. Bring it back. How many people in there? About 60 of us. What you doing in there? We've been Chilling. in there for a while now. We tried to get out. Todd, you we in there too? too? What's your Todd, name? you in there? What's your name? Legion. For we are Legion. Legion. They got a biker club Legion. in there. Mm. To the biker club. <laughs> they got jackets. <laughs> <laughs> you got leather chaps in there. Spur heel boots. <laughs> Man. Damn. Oh damn, damn, damn. Jeez, awesome. oh. Jump down to verse 30. We, we, we jump down to verse 30. Ezekiel mm. chapter 16 and verse 30. How weak is thine heart, saith the Lord God. Seeing thou doest all these things, the work of an imperious, whorish woman. Mm, that's some heavy. Imperious goes into uh, arrogant, domineering. Mm. That's oh. crazy. I need me the long one. <laughs> I need that hey, long one. Do nothing for hey. me. We ship. Uh, brother time. Adam. Brother Adam Raphael is a. He from is a funny dude. He said, "Whatever happened is not the size of the ship." It's the is the motion of the ocean. Emotion. <laughs> motion of, he got a he got a dinghy and not a ship. <laughs> got a dinghy. The motion of the ocean. The motion of the ocean. Yeah, that's oh, what, man. That's what they say. That's what. That's like what well, I'm, I'm right now. There's a case going on uh, in further in the south. I ain't going to name the state. I think next week we're going to talk about it. But anyway, she uh, sister. And it's happened in New York too. Sister in the congregation, um, she gets tired of the picking pool being thin. You know, mm. when they don't like the brothers 
So she goes out into the world, meets uh -oh. uh, Daddy Longstro. Uh oh, oh Mr. Greater Flesh. Yes, Mr. Greater Flesh. Mr. Greater Flesh. <laughs> she gets pregnant, and he, the dude, says, "I'm not taking care of that baby," and bounces. So what is her plan B? I'll go back to Israel United in Christ, mm -hmm. where the the brothers are thirsty. There's a sucker in there. There's a sucker in there. <laughs> yep. And within three, the and within two months, she got married. Ooh, suckers. That's a desperate blood hey, 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 She carries small. She carries small. Now she has convinced the brother that that baby she just had is his. As the pappy. As the pappy. You just got married two months ago. I know you a fast you one. You a fast one. You a but he didn't know, yeah, super no, He didn't know she was pregnant. He didn't know because she carries very small. Damn. Damn. So now she's going to ask, what should I do? I said, ho, tell the truth. Oh. The hell's wrong with tell daddy and his baby. Tell him right, that. Right, right, right. Wow. Evil in oh, Israel. What's going on? Hey, that baby, like, why this baby got straight hair? My granddad. Why he got, got chinky eyes? He might be gay. Hey, listen, Bishop. I say this in out in Atlanta all the time. Some brothers, Bishop, and now you are seeing need to put an S in their foreheads. Yep. Yeah. Bring it up. Listen, put. Listen, you might as well just take a black marker, put an S in it because you are a sucker. Yeah. And Bro. sisters, a lot of sisters, they come in IYC, they're looking for a sucker. A sucker like you. If you, listen, I'm going to tell you right now. If you just meet a sister for two, three months, six months, you marry her, you a sucker. Mm -hmm. Some brothers, let me tell you how sucker some brothers are. Some brothers talking to the sister, they are really giving her money. Yep. They are really yeah. paying her, really yeah. her bill. Yeah. You a sucker. I, I like simp better. Nah, you sucker. sucker. Hey, you know what I'm like, gonna call like him? Is, hey, you know what? You know about they don't call him a sucker MC. Mm -hmm. sucker, sucker, sucker MCs. Sucker, <laughs> sucker simp. Sucker simp. Simp sucker. Simp. Yeah, simpism. That's all I call it. It's like simpism. Juice. Get some of that simply sucker. Yeah. Yeah. So, hey, some of y'all brothers got it. Hey, some give of y'all got it. Shirt with a big ass lollipop on it. <laughs> sucker. 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 And then, and then you know what happens after that. Once she's with him for a while, because he put his name on a birth certificate. Damn. Oh, God. She what leaves him and hits him for child support. Bam! Oh, God. God. Gotcha. Shazam! <laughs> the hell is this? Damn. Yeah. Damn, That's damn. a double sucker. Super sucker. You're a double That's sucker. That's sucker. Super sucker. Damn, damn, damn. With an S cape. So, this truth, we're trying to fix these things. We can fix, we can help some of y'all, but we can only help you if no, you want to be no, helped. That's true. Yes, that's, you cannot see if you're ready. Right. Scripture says you got to have a first a willing heart. Yep. You you know. see. Some some of these uh, I always say some of some of some of these brothers and sisters they need to go to Iso Doli Couch. Mm -hmm. yeah. The Bible cannot help them. Yeah. Go yeah. to Iso Doli Couch, give them hundred dollars an hour and explain to them your problem. Right. <laughs> yeah, some of them gonna like like what we're going over. You're yep. gonna you go you may, God forbid, catch that designer disease. Oh Damn. yeah, you'll hurt yeah, uh, like HIV it. nineteen and HIV yeah. twenty. They give you, you got cancer. HIV thirty nine. Like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, hey, that's what the Bible says. Mar Hebrews thirteen four. The marriage is honorable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How does it go? Marriage is honorable. Yeah, you should in read the bed it. Under five. In the bed under five. Yeah, with yeah. whoremongers and adulterers. God, God will judge. So if, you, yeah. if you live a promiscuous life, God will judge you. Certainly, God male will judge you. and female. Yep. Yep. You know, God, God, our lips. So, so tame. So tame. You, you know, even going back to that, Bishop, sis, because you made the statement and you said that. Oftentimes, if one person is infected and the other person, they won't be infected. It's, it's not necessary. It, it's not guaranteed. It's not guaranteed that they'll be infected. Right. You know how, Deacon, we always talk about that. That's mercy of the Lord. Yeah, it is. Hey, in Greenleaf. I don't know if y'all see this, this mm -hmm. series called Greenleaf. Oh, yeah. Damn, I forgot Season about four. that today. Yep. The, I forgot the, about that. The wife steps out on the brother. Yep. Jacob. Catches chlam chlamydia. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then he, she don't tell him that mm -hmm. she stepped out. He's yeah. like, do you have that, that antibiotic? I feel funny. She says, Jacob, sit down. I got something. I got to tell you. She <laughs> says, you, don't have, you have chlamydia. He says, how do you figure that? She said, because I got it. And I got it from the white man. Yep. Damn. And then when he curses her the out. hell is this? And he says, she says, well, you stepped out on me many times. He says, but I never gave you a disease. So she pauses. And her response to him was, but you are the disease. Damn. Yeah. Y'all gotta see this uh, series. Yeah. Okay. It yeah. shows the, the, see. the cruelty and evil in the Christian church. Yes. And I'm not saying it don't go on in IUIC because right. it does go on here. Right. Yes, it right. does. Right. The Lord right. wanted hey, you hey, to have That's it. one of the yeah. show I was gonna talk about today. <laughs> yeah. the, the, the season four is, some of you gonna get mad as hell. Listen, mm. the Esau turned the whole black family against each other. Yeah. Right. And yeah. they start, they start backbiting. 
uh, betray mm, each yeah. other mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. Esau turned them. And guess who? Guess who Esau used in the family to in the black family to turn them against each other? Let me get the, black, the woman. black woman. Yeah, yeah. Yes, the black woman. Yes. Now she, she's telling. She's going and tell Esau what the family is doing. How the family plan to take the church back? Well, it's crazy. Sister against sister, Sisters husband against, against wife. Yes. Man. Yes, you, gotta, you can't put the whole blame on her because remember, Esau hired the black man the, the named Phil too, yes. to yeah. get in her head. Yep, yeah, that's what happened. Sheesh. Man. Yeah, yeah. You know what that show? You know what that show taught me? When Esau come after us, Esau's gonna is gonna be the same thing because you know it's, Esau they cannot come inside our school, mm -hmm. so Esau's gonna hire Ju Judas yeah. to come inside there because we have a bunch of Judas who Spirit left. Is back. We have a bunch of Judas who left. The Spig Spiegel. What's his name? Spiegel. Spiegel. Speaker, those are Judas. They, they Esau give them two pieces of silver. Mm -hmm. Now the speaker said, "We are a hate group. Mm -hmm. uh, we have that. So those are our own people. Is that what Esau is going to turn to our own people to destroy us? Yeah, mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's yes, what's going to happen. Yep. Yes, what were you going to say? Sis? No, I was just saying, like with the chlamydia and, and like gonorrhea, chlamydia, all those. A man is more likely to know that he's came in contact with it right after after the action take place. A woman can walk around with that stuff and not know it. How do or, men know? How do men know? It's well, a tingle the, and a drip. It, the men, because it, <laughs> <laughs> he, he he got down. Yeah, they I, Bam. they start burning. Been or, been so when you pee, done when that, you huh? pee, you get, they burn. They have a burning sensation. And so women don't get that. More intense. Women don't get that wow. because. Men are not more, men are less accessible to bacteria or anything entering into the urethra because it's longer. So you're saying we're more? Less, not. You're or we're less, not. We're less. less. So when something does get to that point, oh, okay. it's like, you know, it's, you, right it's away. immediate. A woman, Ooh, they get, exactly. get women get Damn. regular bacterial like pissing um, razor blood, but razor blades. imbalances and all kinds of things. That, <laughs> Look at his face. She, she she might, she, wait, wait, she might have just thought it was a tight You said, wait, burn. you said women get what? They are, mo they burn. get like bacterial infections. It could be for a number of things. Um, the way they diet is, you know, they may not be STD related, but mm. they, they're, that's why they have over the counter stuff like yeast infection, different mm. things that women are always more susceptible of getting that because it's more, you're more open. They got the weaker vessel. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, so if, I can't so with if, this guy. So if they have no. something, if a woman have something, they're more, it's, it's, they can walk around and think nothing of it. I mean, it's, they start smelling bad. Damn. You know, those, yeah. but a man can know immediately. I, story time. Story time? Story time. So you're going to talk uh, about the stink? Oh, boy. The vagina? The shaking the, the, shake the drip. The, hey. The, so it was a tingle and a drip. Please. Wait a minute. Wait, I just thought about something. That is, give me I that in Isaiah 3. Said, yeah. Damn. That, what you just said, sis, is what God said. In Isaiah the third Come on, chapter, man, uh, y'all know what I'm talking about. Nobody know what I'm talking about. Verse 24. Here, read that. <laughs> Isaiah chapter three. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. In yeah, verse yeah. 24. Read that. Damn, damn. And instead, of, excuse me, and it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, there shall be stink. See that? Damn. So when you, when your woman's JJ Smell like smells a dump like truck. a dump a, truck, a, a so a, there's <laughs> something wrong right. down there. She caught like something. A dump truck. Garbage truck juice. Hey, if y'all have ever been in New York City in the summertime and a garbage truck right. rolls by you, mm -hmm. my smell. lord, that thing is that thing is death and hell mm. mixed together. There was a brother who, you know, back in the day, brothers used to pick up women on the oil tables and all mm -hmm. that. And one brother in the truth named I ain't gonna say his name anyway brought the woman home to his apartment. He said she took her pants off and the smell was so bad. Lord. I he said the window was open, there was flies, and they started to drop <laughs> out of the air. His eyebrows started to drop. He I said the smell was in. atrocious. Still went in? No, he didn't go in. He oh. said it there was, that was bad. a knock at the door. What was Damn. you gonna say, Gat? You had a story. Uh, yeah, story go ahead. Time. Story time. Story time. Uh, story he was time. pissing razor blades or something nah, like that. I, um, I had a It was dripping. <laughs> yeah. You so were dripping. I, you know, I, I was you know what I'm what, saying? Creeping? What? Yeah. No. Nah, was this? I what is that? This was before Jet. the truth or last week? Before the truth. Okay. I wasn't married yet either. Okay. So I was messing with this one girl, and then I was 
going home. And like on my way home, I was like. <laughs> you felt funny. Yeah, a little like tingly, like. It was powwow dancing, huh? <laughs> so when I, you know, I got home and whatever, whatever, and I woke up the next morning and went to go use the bathroom and my underwear was stuck to. Sticking. Cause it had stuff like stick up dry. Yeah, yeah. Was, what is that? Cold. What is that? What is that? It's the it's the um the fluid that comes out like. The, is it green? Damn. I, sometimes. Yellowish. And it, it, yeah, white. and it, it's you had slime come out your rod, bro. <laughs> Slimer. <laughs> and it was stuck, so you want to use the bathroom? You like, oh, what is? Is there a cure for that? Yeah, usually for stuff like this. This is more or less like gonorrhea, chlamydia. They give you. Yeah, we give a shot. And usually when people are um, positive for chlamydia, they'll automatically treat you for gonorrhea as well because they're Damn. like sisters and bro that one will come after the other. You'll treat the other and the other one to show up. But I went to the doctor like the next, when, when I couldn't get my underwear like right off, right away, <laughs> and I went right to like, hey, something going on. And they was like, well, you're lucky because we don't have to go in deep. You got some right on the top and they just took the little. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. All right, brother. What is this? What the hell is that? They, they gave you a shot? Yeah. They gave you a shot in the head? No. And two little pink pills. And two pills. That's what we always shot yeah. and pills. Yeah. And what the heck is what we four, got, I'm man? Like, you know what? I'm good. Never no, no more stories for you, man. Yeah. I don't hear no more of your hey, stories, Your bro. story time has ended <laughs> yeah. indefinitely. Hey, somebody the said your rod had the sniffles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bro. Hey, y'all ain't right. <laughs> you got that, Damn. Nah, I don't think I don't think we're gonna eat some more today, bro. I don't, I don't, today, I don't think we're gonna do word of the day. Do it after. That's the story time. Do it after. Yo. You might be done, bro. Yo, don't still, don't don't talk don't, no don't more, talk, bro. Don't talk you, no more. You, you, don't say nothing else. Well, I yeah, hope, bro. I pray your wife wasn't listening to this show. Yeah. After the swab thing, uh, yeah, that was nasty, I'm, I'm bro. Good. So they took they took they took a spoon. They took this swab. It's a cute tip. What's oh. damn? They got a sw oh, shit. yeah. You gotta go in your, in, in your small, joint, in your hole. Proctor swab, and they put it down the God. shaft. No, I'm good. And that's disgusting, man. Send it off to what? It put a stick down there. A small. Oh, it's a it's a it's a swab like a Q-tip, but it's. Yeah, it's, it's more plastic, focus. and they put it down there. And mm. now, now, is it is it down the shaft? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yo, gag. Unless, no more stories, like he bro. said, unless there was enough of the fluid yeah. that was coming up, and they can just swap it. So the swab look like a spoon. No, it's a Q-tip. Like well, spoon. that's what I said. It's it's Q-tip. That's what like a spoon. They put it in there and scrape it and Hello. scoop it up. Wait a minute, but here's the question: Did you go back to the hole? Yes, and I said, you dirty mother, you, what you talking about? I said, I ain't, you the only person I ever took a rub off for and you made my <laughs> <laughs> No, I didn't, no, I didn't. Yes, you oh, did. Right. Yes, you did. Only on Patient Saints Radio. Oh, I was like 18, though. Hey, but you cured now, you know what I'm saying? Right? Yeah, Not, no, no. He, he might be cured in the body, but the, the, mind, the mind is still, he's still he's sick. Mind. He's still <laughs> tormented. The whole head is sick. Yo, he's still tormented. Bro, you're still tormented, huh? Hey, but do some of these uh, STDs affect the mind? Um, nothing that's proven about that. I mean, if you walk around and carry certain, like gonorrhea and chlamydia, if you have those for long periods of time, it'll start to affect other organs. And then if you go into ch women having children, it can give blindness and mm. it can, things of that nature. But you know, if it's on yeah, I it was yeah. make you go crazy yeah. mm -hmm. long term. Mm -hmm. Damn, 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 damn. Wow. Mm. I thought that was one of the one of the uh, effects of the Tuskegee experiment. It was syphilis. Mm. Yeah. syphilis. I know blindness mm -hmm. and. They said mental issues. Mental issues. Mm -hmm. Hey, so this, this show is this segment of the show is ready for single people. Yeah. Yes. yes oh, I got yes. some married and, people. And adulterers too. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Adulterers. Yeah, yeah. Adulterers. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. If you prove it, man. Yeah. To, oh, to you force sister, be with you. To you sisters that uh, look at the men and say, "I want you to be my my husband in the kingdom." Hey. Hey, damn. Right. 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 Yeah. Hey, and that also yeah. goes yeah. out yeah. extra for you brothers and sisters here in Georgia. We yeah. got backdoor oh, marriages, yeah, yeah, yeah. forsaking the council, yeah, that's what I call leadership. Backdoor marriages. We call them 2216s on security. Yeah, 2216s. Hey, may the force be What's with that? you. That's Bishop call him, uh, <laughs> what you call him last night? Oh, the, I said hasty effery. Yeah, yeah. the hasty, yeah. hasty yeah. effery. Hey. 
We can't say the word on back the air. Door. No, we no. cannot. Me, me <laughs> in here in Atlanta, I call them the backdoor marriages. Yeah. Backdoor marriages. Right. Backdoor. Hey, the hey, blood of this, the blood of this. They, they, they don't use the front door. They use the back door. And we need to start having that on the, on the, nah, I ain't gonna say that. Hey, find me that scripture <laughs> in Proverbs 5 about the brother who wouldn't listen to counsel. Yeah. This goes for sisters too, but it's stipulating the brother. Is it Proverbs 5? It is Proverbs 5. Verse 13. No, verse 12, 12 and 13. 13 yeah. uh, 12 to 14. Yep. This is for you men and women in the IUIC and those of you to watch online who, who think that we are the seven dwarves or the three blind mice right. and we are so stupid and ill-informed. Mm. Yeah. That yeah. when we tell you to take your time and, and prove a, a spouse, yes. watch this. Proverbs chapter 5 and verse 12. Mm -hmm. And say, how have I hated instruction and my heart despised reproof and have, and have not obeyed the voice of my teachers, nor inclined my ear to them that instructed me. I was almost in all evil in the midst of the congregation Damn. and assembly. We should have started at verse 11. Read that one. Verse 11, and thou mourn at the last. But this is what hasty effery right. does. You mourn at the last. When thy flesh and thy body Damn. are consumed. With STDs. Hey, hey, Woo. Bishop. So you should drop the bomb there. Yeah, boom. The, the, way, the, bomb. the way I deal with this now, when I give somebody counsel, I said, sis, Stay away from this brother. Do not marry him. I said, brother, stay away from this sister. And then something happened. They come in front of the, they start crying. I actually laugh, laughing inside. Mm -hmm. When you cry in front of me, I'm laughing inside. I'm like, oh, look at him. Oh, he's, he's crying. Oh, God. So nice. I'm laughing inside. Because you know why I'm laughing inside? I remember what I told you. Mm. <laughs> you this, hey, when I give you that counsel, you say, hey, that was a Negro talking. He didn't know what the hell he's talking about. Now you come in front of me crying. I'm laughing inside. Why? Because you say he because hey, climb, remember climb, Christ? Most I said I'm gonna laugh at your calamity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm doing. I'm laughing inside because you didn't listen. You didn't listen to my counsel. Hey, I was just a Negro with a Bible, friend John. I didn't know what I'm talking about. I will hell with you, Deacon. You don't know what they're talking about. They were just trying about. to follow protocols yeah. to make themselves to justify exactly. Themselves. So now when you walk to the back door. You caught something, mm -hmm. you came in front of me, I'm going to laugh. <laughs> because I was just a Negro, hey, yeah. and I, I I'm going to laugh. I got a question for you leaders, Bishop and Deacon. Um, is, it, is it frustrating spiritually to y'all when brothers and sisters forsake your counsel? Very frustrating. Is why are we here? Mm. The scriptures right. say that we watch for your souls. Yep. That's what he, he tells you that in mm. Timothy and Hebrews. Yep. So, uh, you know. uh, uh, I talked about this yesterday. Let me tell you why. It's, it's, when you look into the Bible, you got the greatest king who ever walked on the earth. Mm -hmm. You got King David, King Solomon, right? Mm -hmm. This king have counselors. They got counselors that they talk to. We were, we, we were talking about that yesterday. Yes, yes. How David, David go to the counselor and asked, hey, what you think we should do now? David called all the elders and say, hey, I think we should bring the ark of the covenant back. Mm -hmm. This is what you think you should tell They say, okay, I agree, let's do it. But even today in Esau Kingdom, you got President of the United States got counselors. They, but guess what? When it comes to us now, mm -hmm. oh, and by the way, when you come for counsel, counsel mean you make up your damn mind yet. Mm -hmm. that, yeah, that Some of you come to counsel yeah. which your mind already made up. Why the hell you come anyway? That's why they forsake the counsel. Yeah, you already make up your mind. You already say, hey, he got big shoes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go in front of you. And, and you know why they come? Just they can say, oh, Deacon, do you remember? I just I was talking to you about him. Well, sis, do you remember what I said? I told you stay the hell away from him. You know why you still go after him? Because you had I already make up your mind. Right. You don't ask for counsel if you already make up your mind. What's the purpose of counsel? That's all. <laughs> for Negro. sure. Negro. It was for sure. The scriptures sure. say, in multitude of counsel, there is safety. Yeah, yeah. There's a reason <laughs> most I got put that in there. But not the Negro, though. Oh, no, no, no. I'm These wrong. men, they don't know what the hell they're talking about. No, no, no. You You're know, going to tell me. Don't tell me what to do. You got to, you know, the, S, the term STD, sexually transmitted disease, that's the physical definition or modern definition. But it also stands for spiritually transmitted demons. Hmm. Because uh, spiritually, you get with a man or a woman. I was talking with a young man yesterday when I first met him here in Atlanta mm -hmm. uh, last year. He was filled with life, mm -hmm. happy. Yeah. He got yeah. great talent. Mm -hmm. I saw him yesterday. He looked miserable. 
angry. I said, what's wrong? He said, he got married. I said, you got married? He said, yeah, this woman, it, she disrespects me. The woman I told him not to marry to. Yeah, the woman yes. you told him not to. Now his whole spirit is destroyed. And yep. there's a sister here in yes. Atlanta. I ain't going to call her name. Same way. Yeah. Every time I saw her, she used to be, shalom, shalom. This was years ago. Now she's, a, shalom. Most high in Christ. What the hell's wrong with her? <laughs> she married a spiritually yeah. transmitted demon. Yep. Mm. Some spirits are not meant to be together because they ain't true. right. Yep. They did not prove one another. Dang. Dang. Cauliflower and, 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 so, sauce and, have a and, party. and Bishop, because, you know, we all have spirits on us, right? Mm -hmm. So that proving process, it's giving the Lord time to work on those spirits yes. that you yes. have in mm -hmm. you so that he can bring you together that no man can put asunder. Right. Mm -hmm. This is what brothers and sisters feel. It's a process with the Lord. The mm -hmm. Lord does everything decently and in order. Mm -hmm. It takes time to purge out that spirit in the sister, time to purge out the spirit in the brother. So when those spirits are purged, you can be one flesh now. Mm -hmm. And you sisters, be careful. When you you uh, courting, courting a brother, he's asking you for money. That's a red flag. Mm -hmm. Or he yeah. want to get into business with you right away. Get, that's a red flag. Yeah, it is a red There's flag. There's a scheme mm -hmm. somewhere. Be, I've, I've seen many situations like that. The brother and sister court, she got some, she got mm -hmm. cheddar. Mm -hmm. Let's go into business together. Mm -hmm. What? There's a scheme there. You, these are red flags to hey, throw up. Just uh, be a money. huckster. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bishop, uh, I'm glad you said that. Bro, I want to I wanna drop something before your guys yeah. go. Damn. Remember the scripture that said, Christ said, whatever you ban on earth, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is bound on heaven. Yeah. Whatever you loose on earth is loose in heaven. Right. Mm -hmm. This is why some of your marriages don't work. Mm -hmm. When we say do not marry her, that means we don't bless that. Right. right. That means we actually bound that on earth. Mm -hmm. That's right. So when you go, you marry that, what we bound on earth is bound in heaven. Yeah. So God is not blessing that marriage. Why? Right. Because the prophet didn't bless it. That's right. That's why the marriage don't work. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave you with that. That's right. Message. Uh, we got a phone call. Well, how come they don't drop the bombs now when you say something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ah, yeah. They was dropping bombs in the middle of sentences. That's how they You do couldn't it, hear the effect. Just throw the grenades. Just... <laughs> Nah, not hey, uh, <laughs> collateral damage. Shalom, caller. What's your name, question, or comment? Shalom, Captain. Um, my, um, I'm Aaliyah of Israel. I was calling to ask the nurse. I think that's her. The, yes, the nurse. Sister Hoshana. Huh? Sister Hoshana. Hoshana. <laughs> yes. I just want to ask her a question. Mm -hmm. We're listening. Go ahead. Hello? Go ahead, sis. We're listening. Yes, go ahead. I hear you. Okay, okay. The question is, I read a lot, and I'm just asking, because I have read that if a person has HIV, right, and then the blood hits air, it dies. Basically, the HIV needs a host to live, live in, live on. So that's why they say that, because me personally, I think you shouldn't eat no meat, nothing, because then... You have to fast because it cures a lot of diseases. Am I correct? Well, I mean, fasting is good, but that I can't with hear the you. I'm sorry. Could you hear me? Say what now? Can you hear me? A little bit. I can't. Okay. Hear so with the HIV. Um, when the blood hits the air, I mean, that's not proven that it dies. It's a blood-borne pathogen. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's not proven that it's died. You have to take precautions. I mean, dealing with correct, correct. Yeah, so, and, I mean, with the meat and food, it doesn't have anything to do with that. There's no link with HIV. I know that if you have cancer, I know that if you have cancer, I know that you shouldn't eat meat or anything because it needs that to feed off. It needs it to feed off its allele. Okay. When you have cancer, it's good to try to purify from a lot of things, but there's no proven medical that meat or any of those things causing HIV or um, cancer, none of that. So the only one that I see that they say cause cancer is pork. Hmm. Hold on a second. We can't go past that. So, okay, like I heard you on, because I listened, I was listening to you. Also, you were saying when the people come in, you know, you go to the doctor, you get checked, have sexual transmitted diseases and things like that. I understand that. But also, isn't the medicine basically suppressing these? these infections and disease is not basically curing it? Yes, if it is an um, incurable disease, this antivirals, they just suppress it. That's it. Correct, correct. Now, why, how come that people, doctors don't tell us black people, you know, us black people, well, which we don't educate ourselves enough anyway, but I'm, I don't understand why 
we won't, you know, we won't the doctors, you know, and tell us that, tell, you know, some of the... That's because they the know, devil, sis. Huh? <laughs> That's because they the devil. <laughs> That's that, that is true. <laughs> that, that is true, and we still sleep. We still prison of our own mind. That is true. All right, sis. So is, is it something that we, we as people, I mean, well... Me, I'm big on education and things like that. So that's why I'm still learning. I'm in the truth now. But I just think that we should, like, you know. Hey, sis, that, that voice sounds familiar. This Tariq, <laughs> yeah, it's me tapping. I didn't come to class yet. Like, I had to work. <laughs> So, yes, sis, any of these um, diseases or um, sexually transmitted infections, the, the the thing that I can tell you is if you have any, feel like you're going to no, be oh, no, in contact. I'm con- just asking because me, okay, because I read a lot. I actually, I read, I, ver- I, I have books on everything. Sis, 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 sis. Last question. Let her answer the question. Go ahead, sis. Okay. Is, um, if you, can, <laughs> you can go to the CDC website and you can pull up any of these things, any of these um, STDs or diseases, and it will give you a fact sheet and it will give you what can be cured um, and suppressed. So just educating yourself on it and then talking to the doctor. All right, sis. All right, thank you for sis, your call, We really got to go. Hey, thank hey. You. Thank you for hey, your call, sis. Officer Elash, I didn't even tell me it was that late. It's very late, man. Sis, we got to go because it's almost 12 30. Oh, uh, cap, cap, cap. We really got to go. Sis, right. uh, thank you for your call. Sis Oshana, I just want to thank you for coming. That thank was. You. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you thank for you. enlightening us on a lot of stuff. And I also want to thank that sister who called. What's her name yeah. again? The sister who called. Uh, She's a nurse. Remember. The nurse? Yes, the nurse who called. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Those are the things that. We want our people to be aware of. We want them That's to right. don't be listen. Just to be aware of what you're dealing with. And stop. Yeah. Stop eating pork. It causes cancer. Yep. Cap, That's right. Go ahead. Cap, I just want to say one thing. Yes, right. Although on uh, the show today we did bring jokes and funny moments, it's a very, very serious and detrimental yes, topic it is. to our people. It is. Right. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Absolutely. All right, brothers and sisters, that's our show for today. Please remember, we do have a school here in, in Riverdale, Georgia, 691 Highway 138 in Riverdale. Come down, come learn your identity, come learn how to keep these high holy days, keep these laws. We have donations, donations. If you want to give to the body, you could do so via PayPal. You could do so via... <laughs> What the hell is this? I was trying to whisper something you did not to forget. Sorry about that. <sighs> Just messed up my whole routine, man. Donations. It's awful. Donations. Donations. Okay. You could give to the body via PayPal at iuic.atlanta at israelunite.org. You want to give to the Booster Club, you could do so via PayPal at iuic.fundraising at israelunite.org. Do not forget... Next week, brothers and sisters, is the original royalty concert. That's, That's right. right. Sunday, December 22nd. Make sure you're there. Prices have been slashed. Contact Officer Nechemiah or go to royaleventplanning.net. Net. That is royaleventplanning.net. That's right. All right. You can buy your tickets there. You should be in Atlanta, December 22nd. All right, for the concert. Right. We, got, we got a new artist we're going to introduce. His name is Deacon Labaka. That's you know right. what I'm saying? <laughs> you want to see yeah. Deacon Labaka get busy? Yes, that's a new artist we're going to introduce to Israel, Deacon Labaka. That's right. You're not going to understand what he said, but it's okay. <laughs> and if so you appreciate okay. the music that's been putting out in the yes. last weeks, couple, three, four, five weeks or whatever, you need to support. Right. That's you need to right. support. Right. Good, dude. And, and, right. go, and go to Original Royalty, too. All the albums are there, man. Yeah, All Original Royalty. Good music. Yeah. All right. We want to thank you, brothers and sisters. Let's thank a couple of brothers and sisters behind the scene to make this happen. Officer Elisha, yeah. Officer Kidan, Officer Yui, Officer uh, Erwad, uh, uh, Officer Salomon, Officer Johanan, Officer Asa, Officer Johan... Jo- uh, Jeroham. Jer- hold on, what Jeroham do? <laughs> he ain't do nothing but sit there. Yeah, what you do, bro? <laughs> Officer Jeroham, uh, soldier... Uh, Kenaniah, soldier... Adino. Adino. Adino back there, I barely can see him. DJ Gay short. Walker. And you got soldier... Uh, Mahalo. Mahalo up there. Mahalo thank Stout. you, thank you, thank you. And our sisters who provide breakfast for us this morning, yes. who are they? Sister Avaya and Sister LaShawn. No, uh, there's another uh, sister. Uh, 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 Shimonia, Sister Shimonia. Shimonia. Sister Shimonia. 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 Yes. Sisters, yes. thank you, thank you for making this possible. And before we go, I always want to say this. Brothers and sisters, it's very, very, very important you support the Booster Club. Without your guys, we cannot do what we do. Right. Your guys make it possible. Uh, 
those third world countries, they need our help. Right. And most of the ways of first for that purpose, believe it or not. For that purpose, whatever good job, whatever it is you have, you don't have it alone, just alone. Because when you read the scriptures, David said, I've been old, I've, I've been young, I've been, I'm, and now I'm old, I never see the righteous for, forsaken for bread. Why? Because brothers and most I got always put in brothers and sisters spirit to give to those who don't have. Christ said the poor is going to be with you. Mm -hmm. Remember those scriptures. Remember that. We cannot do this work without your help. That's right. We really, really want you guys to support the Booster Club. Support the Booster Club. Uh, we want to thank Bishop. Uh, for being here. Thank you, thank you, Bishop. No hand clap, no nothing. Right, nothing. No, 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 no hand clap. He's not even looking. He's got it. We want also want to talk, take our sister, Sister Osh uh, Oshana, for, uh, for being with us. Thank you, thank you for enlightening us on uh, certain uh, different topics, different right. things. And uh, in the future, we will be uh, glad to have you again, sis, if you don't mind. Praise Yes. You know your stuff. You know your stuff. You know how Israel are. Uh, 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 we are about to go. Hey, Kamala, you want to see the last word, bro? I'm done. Story time. Story yeah, time was story, enough. Story for me. time. All right, come alive. Story All right, brothers and sisters, thank you, thank you. Uh, without you, there is no patient sent with you. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for putting up with our with our, with our little jokes. Uh, <laughs> look, at this, brother, look at that. Look uh, uh, What else? Anything else? Hey, next week the concert. That's right. Next week, the, hey, we're gonna be here next week. On the, we're gonna be here next week. Hey, brother and sister, listen. There's gonna be some. There's gonna be some heavy hitters in here next week. That's right. I, uh, as a matter of fact, we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have a couple of special guests next week. Yes, sir. They're gonna be in town. We're gonna invite them to come here. We might have. We're gonna see if I can, if I can have more chairs. Fill out the whole thing. I can come. You're gonna. Have, uh, we don't Hell know if we're gonna. No. Well, we don't know if we're gonna invite you again after what you said Hell today, man. Hell no, you can't come back. Yeah, that know. script thing. That was the yeah, 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 That might have done it, bro. You might have to show us proof that it actually was script. No, no I'm gonna invite you back. That was 20 years ago. I lost the paperwork. <laughs> But next week we're gonna have a couple of on captain on town, a couple of deacon in town. Come back, come, come, come back, come back, right, 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 uh, uh, Cap. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. So we're Absolutely. gonna have a really good show next week, Lord willing. All right, Israel. With that, shalom. We love you. We used to scream Black Power while Heron was pushed, but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.